How does cataract surgery uh, affect astigmatism? Well, I'd like to begin explaining that by explaining what astigmatism is. So astigmatism is a very common visual abnormality that, that we see. It is similar to nearsightedness and farsightedness. It results in blurry vision. It's basically, it basically results when the cornea of the eye is misshapen. So the cornea of the eye is the outer dome shape uh, that covers the eye and it works with the lens of the eye to focus light rays. Okay. When the cornea is misshapen or as I like to tell patients out of round or somewhat warped, the light rays are not focused appropriately and it results in blurry vision. Okay. We learned 20 plus years ago through LASIK that we can reshape the cornea surgically to correct astigmatism. We can now do that same type of correction during cataract surgery. We have in our surgery center a very new uh, piece of technology called a femtosecond laser. And that laser can very precisely reshape the cornea to correct certain amounts of astigmatism. And that can help patients see better with less need for glasses. Another way that we can correct astigmatism surgically is by using a special type of intraocular lens implant called a toric lens implant. Now, when you mention a toric lens implant to patients with astigmatism, they often understand that term toric because it's very similar to a toric contact lens. Many astigmatism patients wear toric contact lenses. These are specially shaped contacts that, that basically reshape the eye and help patients see better, masking their astigmatism. Well, I tell patients we can put a similar type of lens inside the eye to mask their corneal astigmatism and correct their overall astigmatism so they see better without glasses. Again, that same femtosecond laser can assist us in very precisely aligning those toric lens implants to correct a person's astigmatism. So it's a wonderful time in, in science, if you will, to be able to correct for astigmatism. Technology and, and ophthalmology has just gone crazy in the last decade. And, and we have at our disposal uh, numerous instruments to help uh, patients see better, the femtosecond laser being one of them.